Hello, welcome to Royce for Healing Retreat. This is High Priestess Marlena. I am bringing to you your Divine Feminine, What Spirit Needs You to Know message and love reading. So please make sure that you hit the subscribe, like, and share the video. Definitely leave a comment if you'd like to be entered into a free readings contest as well. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and guides. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. What messages do you have for the fire signs? This is the message for the fire signs. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Let's get started. All right, so we're bringing forth order. We have Goddess Nukum. We have HG Vila. And as you guys see, I don't really know these names too much, but this is in regards to order, <laughs> creativity, and boundaries. So let's just see, let's take this an extra step further. Just when I pulled out order, I just saw things coming into place. Just kind of saw things kind of just mashing together. Things that didn't fit. Like I feel like with this message here, this is speaking to like you starting certain things and then it for some reason not coming to fruition because there were missing parts. So this is about those missing parts starting to fit into it. Um, you know, so you can actually have what you're looking for. Um, or so you can actually create what you're looking for. We also have here uh, <clears throat> Okay, so you have been feeling some kind of way really you've been feeling really anxious um, About this about why things haven't been coming into order. So you've taken the necessary steps to kind of find um, I don't know why I'm hearing find financial backing, but this message really is in regards to um, valuing yourself, valuing something. But I feel like you're now starting to put forth the effort to bring things into order. Um, not to say you wasn't putting forth the effort before, but it's almost like you're getting epiphanies. You're getting new information. It's like spirits giving you new downloads. You may, may, may be waking up in dreams that's telling you, okay, this is the direction you need to go in. Okay, so let's look over here at this creativity. I'm going to also pull out the tarot deck too so I can get a little deeper into this. But let's look at, you know, what you're creating here because there's something that's unique um, that you may be creating here. And then we have the thinker, um, the thinking man. It came out this way for me. So for you, it's victory. So you will have what you need here. I really see that... Um, Right now, this is, it feels like the beginning stages, although you've been working on it for a while because you've been manifesting this for a while, but it seems like it's the beginning stages, but I feel like you're going to now start to see how things are coming around, fire signs. You're going to start seeing how things are finally, you know, coming into the order that you were looking for. Not just the order, but it's just like whatever it is that you're creating, like, like I'm, this is very, I feel like I'm being very vague right now, but it's so specific to you know, whatever creative venture you have for your career, all of that. Like, that's what I feel like this is about here. So we also have here, sorry, guys. Um, one moment. What happened was, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, sorry, guys. Um, so, yes. Um, so you're just going to start see things kind of shifting. I feel like, you know, maybe some of you were counting on something or someone to come in but really i feel like all of this is universally orchestrated whatever's happening here so let's just go into shape shifting villa right here goddess villa before we go into goddess durga here um yeah so things you're going to see coming into balance you know you've been waiting for a minute you know um, like I said, it's, it's, I'm seeing hostilities here, um, but it's coming out in a way where you have less hostilities. Like, you know, it's just making things easier. I feel like you've really been working really hard on whatever this is. And this is so funny because it seemed like this is more about uh, a creative or financial endeavor or career. But And then, of course, you know, we have hostilities. Like I said, you're coming out of this place, but then we have financial constraints. So whatever has been happening here... Um, it really has been affecting you financially. And that's why I feel like, you know, whatever's happening, it just seems like it's been, you know, career, you know, or creative, a project, something like that. So, um, yeah, so it's like you, you've been waiting for a while here and you're just going in a new direction now. And what's been happening is you've been manifesting and you've been creating a firm foundation up until this point, but it's just been very, 
Um, it just hasn't gone the way you hoped. Let me just put it that way. So now let's go ahead over here to these boundaries here. So uh, Goddess Durga really speaks to you saying yes to what you need to say yes to, no to what you need to say no to, not feeling you know, anxious or not feeling upset about doing it. This is just being direct, you know, telling it like it is, you know, um, you know, making sure people don't cross your boundaries. Uh, I really feel like this is in regards to how people may see you, how people may want things to go with your, and, and to me, like this could be like a boss, even like this could be in regards to a boss or somebody that's trying to hold you back. Um, or, you know, it may be someone, you know, you may have your own business entrepreneur and, you know, this is somebody potentially holding you back. This is about you, um, finding ways around that or spirit finding ways around that for you. Cause I don't see you having to really look at this in the same way anymore. Like, I feel like this is something happening for you and it's just God led you know, spirit led, you know, and then look at this after the storm. And then you have contracts here. So again, whatever you've gone through here, that may have been, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have deception here. Whoever may have been trying to keep you from what's owed to you. I feel like that's coming to an end. So that's what's come to an end. And then we have balance coming in here. So we, we you will start seeing this shift and put to balance to more, uh you'll start receiving more confidence, you know, you'll start to see the strategy that's coming and then maybe perhaps you'll start wanting to work on love. So let's just go into love a little bit here. Um, I'm trying to keep these videos um, kind of quick. Let's see, where is the romance oracle? So I hope you like this format. Again, leave a comment in regards to how this really impacts you, if this makes sense to you. Also, in regards to love as well, if, if this makes sense to you, I would love to hear your comments below. Um, to reach out to me for private readings, you only can get them on my website. Um, my website is gracefulhealingretreat.com, so you can book your readings there or you can email me, but I'll never reach out to you. There's been a lot of people on Instagram or what have you reaching out to folks like, oh, I'm so-and-so and I want to give you a reading. That's not me. So um, just make sure that's clear. They're doing that for a lot of readers. So just be clear about that and just know that if you're interested in any of my products or any of, you know, crystals, herbs, what have you, anything in regards to your divine feminine awakening and that spiritual um, movement in your life and you may want to get more understand around your spiritual awakening your spiritual journey then you can reach out to me but i would never reach out to you okay um and even when it comes to the context that's going to be like a video that i put out like this is the winner for the video that's that's what's going to happen so anyway um as far as love so normally i do how you're feeling how they're feeling but we're going to you know kind of mix this up a little bit i'm gonna give you a little bit of both but i do want to let you know what's in the foundation of your reading is giving this relationship a chance so as it pertains to this reading i feel like things have been a bit difficult maybe on and off i do feel like maybe there wasn't too much of a commitment here um in a relationship that you were dealing with but um let me get this other deck in a relationship that you were dealing with, um, but you're trying. Um, I feel like, honestly, I feel like there may be a couple relationships going on here. So let me just get a more, get more specific here because I really feel like there was a relationship where things weren't panning out the way you hoped. I really feel like it just wasn't going the way you hoped. Um, because now you've had to release something. And then we have unrequited love and releasing your ex right here. But then we have making the effort here. And then we have this. Um, this, is, this is almost like the beginning, the middle, and the end. That's what I'm really feeling from here. Um, yeah, let's just get a little clarity into this. Like, I, this is what this really looks like. It looks so, so basic. It looks so, like, direct and, you know, just really... Yeah. And then what comes out here is exchanging of gifts. So exchanging of gifts really speaks to balance in a relationship. Um, with this, and especially with this message here, I really feel as though someone saw someone else as, I don't want to know, like their way out. Um, 
their way out of something else. Like, um, like you didn't see, someone didn't see this person for who they truly were. This is like someone used someone to make someone mad or use someone to get over another person. Like that's the energy that I'm feeling here. Um, interesting. But I would like to also say that although they may have done that, it still led somewhere. Like, even though they may have come into it in a very lackluster way, um, I still feel like ultimately there was something you got out of this. Because we also have here serendipity and then we also have coming to the edge. Um, coming to the edge is like making a leap of faith. You know, um, again, this is kind of jumping into something unknown. And then we have serendipity here. So even though it was something unknown and to me, very scary, uh, whatever happened here, like it, it, it's almost like you were pushed into almost like you fell, you know, into something, into this relationship, fell into it, but it ended up turning out to be amazing. But then I see this unrequited love here and this releasing your ex here. I feel like this really it speaks to you kind of falling into something, you becoming very happy, and then it allows you to get over your past. That's what I'm feeling here. Like now it's like you're creating something new. There was a major change here. I feel like there was a lot of waiting, maybe when it came to someone you were dealing with here in the past, but there was a major change that occurred here. And now you're finding balance. Now you're kind of finding a relationship where you can have that give and take. And that's why spirit is now saying, give your relationship a chance. Right. Okay. Let me go ahead and, um, yep. Look at you balance again. Okay. So let me give you some love advice here. See balance, freedom. This is that yin and that yang action. Like, I feel like you fell into a more balanced situation that allows you to feel free. Like, sometimes when you're in relationships, like, I feel like back here, whatever you were in here, this was a lot of hard work for nothing, almost. You know, this was a lot of lack of clarity. This was just, just I, I want to say, a zapping of energies, depleting, whatever energies you were dealing with before. I feel like that's what this was. So, and you were able to get out of that. And now you're in something where now it's like, okay, freedom. Spirit is giving you advice here. Consider your foundation. You are being asked how committed you are to love. Okay, now a lot came out here. So let me just see if I can go through these fairly quickly. But consider your foundation. Now, when it comes to this message here, this really speaks to how you see relationships. Like, I feel like when I saw that, and then this message came out, it just makes me feel like you may have had one perception around love, but based on whatever you went through, um, that changed. And so it's almost like how you deal with love is a little different now. You know, it's almost like you, you learned your lesson. Um, you learned your lesson. You learned a lot of lessons. I, let me just put it that way. You learned a lot of lessons. And then you received a lot of, um, and your love advice is really speaking to action, speak loudly, you know, act as if your partner is here. Even if you're not in a partnership, it doesn't even matter. Act as if your partner is here because there's something you had to learn here. Whether you have, whether you're with somebody in your life or not, act as if your partner is here. So you will always consider them. There's something here about, how you look at love like i don't know if it was this past situation that got you there but i feel like in general maybe how you were raised how you looked at love was very different and that's coming and that's starting to change so spirit is asking you how you look at love here is very important actions speak loudly we have received with love and appreciation we have be supportive so again it's something here around you know, it's something here around having faith when it comes to relationships. Like, I feel like for some of you, maybe in relationships, you know, I don't know, it could be like a single parenting type situation where you may have learned how to do everything on your own. So you never felt like I needed to count on anyone and no one could do anything for me. Like, I feel like it's that kind of situation here. 
And then it's like, but now I feel like spirit is asking you to give a relationship a chance and still allow yourself to be free in it. But just, you know, give the relationship a chance too, because there's some balance that spirit wants to bring into your life. And then we have have faith here again. So this is, you know, something that love endures, all of that. Love is all around you. This is God and, and the angels reassuring you that you are loved. There's now romance coming into your life. You have, you know, so much, you know, coming into your life here, knowing that you will always love. Like, I feel like this is major for you. And this is why they're like, consider where you came from, because maybe the way where you came from made you feel like this wasn't possible. So now you're stepping out on faith. And again, that's how you get to your serendipity. Okay. Whew. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I love you guys. Let me just give you um, a soul woman, a soul woman advice card. This is um, actually not only advice, but this is an affirmation for this message. All my messages have affirmations, advice. Definitely make sure you look at the Divine Feminine reading. We have over 170 videos at this point. By the time you read this, maybe over 200 Divine Feminine videos that give you advice about the Divine Feminine journey, depending upon where you are. We have pickle cards. We have all kinds of stuff. We have chats where you can actually listen to me talking to some of the females um, and some of the members. They're not always females, but the majority of them are females in regards to what's going on in their life. I think this is, so definitely go back and watch some of those live videos as well as some of the um but majority of them are live and definitely come back to me on mondays mondays i normally do live readings with the divine feminine so you can ask questions i don't necessarily do full readings for people but sometimes messages do come through for dark for people so definitely come see me live on mondays and um i'll be there and you know bringing forth the messages the updates the moon readings whatever we just have a good time so your affirmation here is your soul's truth. I listen to my soul's simple truths and allow my life to unfold naturally. Then we have here ageless beauty. With grace, dignity, and strength, I grow into the unique texture of my feminine soul. This, uh, you know, I'm kind of going back here where I feel like that worth card came out. Your worth. Um, I feel like you're re realizing your worth, you know. Some of you may have had to go inward, take time out, you know, be by yourself for a while, but you're realizing your worth here. And with the ageless beauty, I love this because this is regardless of your ages, regardless of what you look like, regardless, this is about loving yourself regardless and understanding your soul's truth. So I, I love this message for you. And again, the affirmation for soul's truth is I listen to my soul's simple truths and allow my life to unfold naturally. This is about being who you are. Both of these messages are about your worth who you are and connecting inwardly. Okay. And feeling good about that and knowing your worth. I love you guys. Blessings, love, love and light. Bye-bye. <laughs> HP Marlena out.